Okay guys, we got this uh, Pathfinder here, 15 Pathfinder, and it set a fault code. Um, let's go back, the cloud report, let's see if I can show you guys this. So, we had a fault code in here for this vehicle speed sensor, P0500, and then P1574. I think that's a cruise control vehicle speed sensor. That could be wrong. And it says C1107, right front speed sensor. So what I did was I went into the uh, I went into the ABS module. I started recording these. Um, we're gonna see if we have any dropouts. Here we go. I cleared the codes, so we have no codes on the dash right now. I'll drive this. We'll see if we get any dropouts. fault codes. Let's see. I hate how long Nissan takes on Altel for some reason. Some cars it just takes forever. So we'll let this scan. Okay, there we go, finally scanned. Hang on, I got a call. Okay guys, so we cleared the codes. Let's go into ABS. Let's see if this works. Live, all signals. first drove around the building. So I drove around my shop, I quick brought this up and I drove around. Um, I thought they were working out to check. I want to show you this. I hit a bump coming in my driveway, and look, it started working. So, we either have a wiring problem, the graph is off, the scaling is different because the other ones we got up to 60 miles an hour. So, you can see that right there. So, right now it's working. Since I pulled in the shop, it just instantly started working. 
up there, it dropped out. You see it go down to zero? When I made a right hand turn to do a circle, it dropped out. Uh, let's see if we can get out of here and uh, let's see if we can uh, get the sensor over here. Yeah, that is a good thing. Oh, there's no bolt in it. What the heck? Let me turn this wheel. How the heck is the bolt missing? I never saw that before. Okay guys, got a bolt in there. Look at that. So, Now we can test drive this. We'll have to clear our codes again. I'll take it for a test drive. Yeah, but I bet you this will fix it. Because I bet you it'll start working now as soon as we pull forward. Look at that. So we'll have to clear these codes. And we'll take this for a test drive. So um, let's see. Actually, you know what? We could probably just clear the ABS and the four-wheel drive because I think the ABS and the four-wheel drive are the ones that shut the car off. Oops. No, I didn't want to start. There we go. Trouble codes. Erase. Oh. I got going to eat this module, clear the codes. There we go. Now let's go into four wheel drive. Actually, we can just do a quick erase from right here. Maybe. There we go. That's like the key. Let's go to live data. There might be store code stored in other modules, but I'm not worried about that right now because I'll I'll scan it all when we get back. Let's see, merge, record. Safety first. There we go. Now let's go around my shop here. It's all bumpy here, so this would be a good test. Yeah, it's looking good. Wheel speeds aren't going to be exactly the same because we're turning. They're only the same if we're going in a straight line. Did it, guys? I don't know why the bolt was missing. 
probably end up finding out that somebody did work on this before. Look at that. So I'm going to keep driving this. Drive it back. And uh, let you guys know if it works. And I'll increase our, uh, increase our uh, X axis here. There we go. So now we'll have more data on the screen. Okay, guys, I think we fixed it. We're almost back here at the shop. Speeds are looking good. Everything is looking perfect. And now for our final test. The giant bumps coming over my shop. Look at that. There we go. So that was a interesting one. Hope you guys like it. See you later.